Hey guys, it's Becky. I am here to do a real time video. If you do not like long videos, come back and see me on Monday or Thursday. I seem to say that every time. Today we are going to be working with this sketch and I pulled out some Felicity Jane stuff to um, work with. I haven't been working with the Felicity Jane very much lately, I don't think, but I'm gonna be doing these photos of Riley and they're soft so it looks like um felicity jane would work very well now let me tell you what's been going on over here today when i'm doing this video is april 28th and i don't know if you guys care what the date is it just gives you some perspective of where i'm at i guess but um monday well first we went had went to I'm going to use this as my background. We had went to um, Ikea on last Friday, on Good Friday. And the next day, Jim was just exhausted and he slept all day. And then Sunday, he started coughing. And then Monday, he came home from work sick. And he stayed home from work on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I tried to avoid him the best I could. But, guess who woke up sick on Thursday? <laughs> yes, that was me. Um, so, yeah. It hasn't been the best week ever in the whole world. Because I have been sick since Thursday. Today is Sunday. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Day number four. I'm going to try and get through this video without hacking my lungs out. I do have a big cup of water here so I probably will be drinking a lot during this. I am not a nurse but someone once told me that when you drink the water this is this might sound gross when you drink the water it thins out your mucus so I am all about thinning out the mucus right now because I don't like being sick. It makes me cry. Yesterday, I got up and tried to take some... I think I want to use some black and white, too. You can see on the sketch, it doesn't call for these two small photos, but I don't even care. I think I really super want to use this sketch, too. Or use this black and white, also. Um... Yesterday when I got up, I thought I would take some Dayquil. And the first one went down really good, but the second one didn't. And it got kind of got lodged in my throat a little bit. And you know how when you're getting ready to vomit, your mouth fills up with water and stuff. Yeah, not water, saliva. That's what happened. And it was pretty awful. It was horrible. So, um... I ended up running to the bathroom and I missed the toilet. So after I did that, I had to clean my bathroom. <sighs> it's just been an interesting weekend so far. He has been sick for a week, I guess. He's been sick for a whole week. And I hope that it doesn't last that long for me. I'm a little bit younger. Maybe I have more of an immune system I'm, I'm hoping for. We'll see. I haven't had the best of luck. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing this for a challenge at a cherry on top. I have not really been doing the challenges a lot lately. So, <laughs> I just haven't been. I don't know why. But, um... It's for the three in a row challenge in the top part. There's like six squares, kind of like a bingo challenge. And the top row is, um, what is it? Two or more photos, inking and, oops, sorry, my sketch fell. Let's see. Two or more stickers, three or more photos, and inking. So we're going to ink the edges of the stuff. I already pulled this out. What I've been doing is 
this is so silly and I'm aware and it's okay. Um, we're going to be, I've been practicing doing load because load's going to be starting here in just a few days. So I've been practicing and I know that's silly. Why do you practice load? I know. So what I did was I pulled out the things I thought I would use and then now I'm going to do the real time video. I thought with load, I have a plan guys. I do. I have a plan. I am going to get up 30 minutes early, read the prompt, figure out what I'm going to do, pull out all the papers and stuff. And then if I have time to get started on it, I'll get started on it. Then I'm going to take all those bits and throw them in an iris case. I have four empty iris cases here I emptied out today. And I'm going to take them to work with me. And at lunchtime, and I'm also going to pick out my sketch and everything in the morning. At lunchtime, I'm going to go out to my car and scrapbook. I have a RAV, which you guys have probably seen in my <laughs> process video on getting my new car. Even my old car was a RAV though. Um, anyway, that's not the point. I'm going to get in the back of my car and scrapbook what I can and then finish it up when I get home. That's my plan. Now, I live in the Eastern time zone, so for me, I have to have it posted by 9 p.m., which is fine because I go to bed at 8. Now, see, I printed these photos on my selfie, and when I use this, and I don't know why... But when I use this, it makes a white line on my photos. And I don't I don't know why. Let's see, I don't know. Can you see that? The top of the photos now have that white line on them from where the plastic hit the photo. I'm not in love with that, but that's how it is every time. I do have a small guillotine trimmer, but it's very difficult for me to use I need to find a way to not have that line there maybe I can use a piece of copy paper to cover the photo up perhaps I don't I don't know Let's see if that works at all Okay, well that didn't get a line on it so I guess I but that's a lot of work to have to cover up your photo with something that's just bonkers I don't know why it does that but it does and it's crazy so this sketch does not really call for all these photos but I don't even care um I already also did pull out my title I use these Emma thickers because that's, I was told you I was practicing for load. And I'm going to call this water bug. And that's because that's what her mom called this um, when she put the photos on the Facebook. She called it water bug. She said, look at my water bug. Or something like that. So I have to do, for the challenge, two or more photos. No, three or more photos. So I have the three photos. Um, two or more stickers and inking. So I did pull out this Hero Arts ink and I don't know if it's going to be the right kind of pink and I don't care because with um, load, I'm not going to care about it then either, right? I just am going to want to get things done. I don't know if it will be successful or not. It may or may not be. This photo I am not I don't think I'm going to back it with anything. You think I should? Should I back it in white? Maybe I should back it in white. Heh. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I would like it better backed in white. I do have that diagonal stripe. And you guys know I love the diagonal stripe. I have this pack of really cheap white. I don't know where I got it, but it's, um, I think I might have got it Tuesday morning. I don't know, but it's pretty thin. So I think we'll use that one. But of course, I'm going to have the same dilemma with the putting the, um, with the line being on the photo. It's okay though. My other printer, I have a, what is this? A Canon IP 820 or something like that. 
8720 is a large format printer. The photos I print on that, they do not get a white line on them. So, so far with the selfie, that's the only thing I don't like is that my trimmies up, they get the white line from my thing. So that means the ink is coming off of them and I don't know why. And then also it cuts off the edges of my photos and sometimes there's actually something there that I want to be there. So, eh, you know, it's not, not really too big of a deal, right? I guess if I keep a piece of copy paper, oh, I cut it too thin. That's okay. If I keep a piece of copy paper, this is actually a sketch that I used on a different layout when I was practicing for load. Who practices for load? Anybody else? Is it just me? I don't know. When I was practicing for load, um, I used this sketch. I think that was yesterday. I know that's kind of... That's kind of nuts, but hello. Hello guys, I am Becky. And a little berserk. I've never done load and I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about it. We'll see how it goes. So I have to ink all these edges. I think this is gonna be the format of this is basically gonna be how the background is when I lay this down. Um you can see on the sketch it calls for the scallopy bits. But when I was going through my Felicity Jane box, I found these and they are like French trim and I've never used them. The pink, I think it's going to be too dark, but the white should work pretty good, right? Now, I don't know. Can I use French trim at the top because it'll be going the opposite way or do I just do it normally and let it fringe over the paper? I guess we'll see what to do when we get there. I hope this inking I'm doing is good enough for the challenge. So this video is not going to go up till next Saturday, but I am going to be putting this on a cherry on top before next Saturday, obviously. So if you go over to cherry top, you will see it. I don't, I just haven't been doing the challenges much lately and I'm not sure why. Let me stop this for a minute because I super need a drink. Okay, sorry guys. Um, I maybe should have made this a little bit bigger, but I didn't. So it's just going to have to work. It'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down like this, I think. Did I ink these edges? I did. You can't hardly see it, but I did ink them. So like I said, this is going to be for a challenge. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and stick this down right here. Now, I I am still behind on my answering my stuff on YouTube. I know it's awful. I've been really closely following the Mini Kit Monday thing because I need to, we've been manually, or we, by we I mean I, have been manually tracking everybody's entries. I have to stand up here. You're going to see my head and it's not going to be attractive. Sorry guys. I can't hardly see this. I don't know if that's the place I had it originally laid down or not, but it's fine. It'll be okay. Um, so I'm super behind on doing all my answering all my comments. I did have someone passion for crafting. She, uh, comments on my, I'm, I don't remember your real name or if you ever even put your own name. Um, she wanted to know about if I would put the, if I'd show where to find the free sketches. The sketches are just at page maps, but I think what she specifically wanted to know was, you know, exactly where they were so that she could scrap along, you know, with the same sketch. And that's cool. But what I did was I took all the page maps, not all, I took the page map sketches. If you go to the website, when you download them, there's like seven sketches on a page or something, something crazy like that. And 
what I did was I would download the PDF file and then I would edit it so that I just have one photo per, that looks crooked, is that crooked? So I would just have one photo per, or one sketch per image. I just kind of, that's fine, it's fine. I think it's a little crooked, but it's okay. So what I think I might do if you want the same, if you want to see the same sketch that I'm using so that you can use it at the same time, I'm going to ask the Mini Kit Monday ladies if I could make an album because we all have to agree. That's the thing. When we're, when you're doing a collaboration with somebody or a group of people, you can't just run nilly, willy nilly on your own, right? You need to be in agreement. So I'm going to see if I can just have a folder for myself and maybe whatever sketch I use because I don't know what this I don't know what the year or month of the sketches I'm using because I edit it you know just so I could just have that one picture so I I never know what it is but I can definitely make an album and post it on that album does that make sense so that you can just go to the Facebook group maybe I can put a link to the Facebook group in the the videos that I do with sketches you can go to the Facebook group and um, maybe be able to download the photo from there. And then you can have the same sketch that I'm working with. Okay, I haven't even opened this pack yet. This appears to be tissue paper. That's weird. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I haven't even opened this. This is the first time I've opened this pack. I don't know if there's a front or a back. I think this is the front. Okay, this is very thin. It's tissue paper. Who knew? Okay. Um, maybe I'll have to do, come up with a different plan. This is so thin, it's going to rip. I don't know what I'm going to do at the top. I don't think I can do this there. Perhaps we can, it's kind of cool that you can still see the pattern paper behind it. Maybe we can pull this up a little and stick this underneath. I know we don't have smell of vision but I can smell my husband out there cooking. Which means he must be feeling a little bit better. He's out, if you can hear coughing, it is him. Today, this morning, even though I had the mishap with the day quill yesterday where I choked on one and ended up vomiting, this morning I went ahead and tried it again and I was able to get both of them down without getting sick. So, hey, that was cool. What do you think of that? I don't know. I don't really super love the fringe bits, but I do need to use them or get rid of them, whichever. I need to use them or get rid of them. So. I have too much stuff. When I was, um, so I've been, I told you I was preparing for load and I also had got out a bunch of iris containers cause I needed some empty ones. So I went through what was in the iris containers and so I kind of got more familiar with what I have in my stash. Well, <laughs> that's so funny. No, what I had in a couple iris containers. Not really what I have in all my stash because it's uh, a lot of stuff. I can't believe I've only been scrapping for a few years and have acquired so much stuff. It's ridiculous. If you guys are new scrapbookers, my advice would be do not buy everything. <laughs> That'd be my advice to you. Don't buy everything. You don't need it. You do not need everything. Okay, what do you think of that? See, now I don't know how I would do that up here because surely I don't want fringe over Riley's head. You know? See what I'm saying? I don't think I'd want that. Perhaps, what if it goes over to the edge of the page? I know this doesn't call for it, but that's pretty cute. I mean, maybe I, 
do you think it would be totally awful for it to be over her head? I don't know. I'm not super in love with it over her head. Um, Riley, would you be mad at Granny if I put the fringe over your head? I think that's what we're, we'll do. I think we'll cut it off right here. And I think we'll lay it down right there. It will kind of be over her head, but it will have to be okay. Um, like I said, I'm preparing for a load, so I'm trying to make quick decisions. Quick decisions. And if that wasn't a quick decision, I don't know what is. We're going to put the... The, this, these are stitched. I don't know if you can see this. They, they're sewn in. I, I'm assuming this was done, you know, in a manufacturer. So, kudos to them for stitching on um, tissue paper. I don't even know how that process would work, but apparently it did work. Because, you know, I have it. <laughs> Just do a little line right here. It's so delicate, guys. It's so delicate. So delicate. You'll probably see my um, glue behind there. I'm not sure. Just try to make it straight-ish. And let's put a little on the back so we can fold this over. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Fold this over like that. So the retreat at Heather's Crafty Life is coming up in like three weeks, guys. Three weeks. I still haven't got my kits from Christina yet, so I'm getting a little nervous about that. It's like, girl, why are you taking so long? You make me nervous. Because I'm kind of a nervous person anyways. So, yeah. You're making me nervous, girl. So, I already pulled out my thing. I'm calling it, or my, my thing. My thing is my title. I'm going to call it Waterbug. I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's kind of cute right there. Now, we have to use two stickers two or more stickers on here now I did pull out this remarks book and it has got some stickers on it that I could possibly use and then I pulled out this there's not a whole lot on here I don't think I can there's like this is where I belong I mean that's kind of cute I think it's funny that Riley loves the water so much and um, her Marissa's baby shower was mermaid theme. I think that is hilarious because it was like the mermaid theme was like the little mermaid is on the way or something like that and she really is. She really loves water. I do have some swimming photos of her coming up too. These are technically stickers right because they're puffy stickers so I could use those. I pulled out these tag bits which I don't know if I will use or not. And then there's some acetate, which is really, really hard for me to use. So that's what I have that I'm going to be working with on this. Do you think that we should put this in a line or maybe we could like curve it in a circle or something? Like for interest. I do have that, um, you know, that thickers guide or whatever. We can maybe do it in a circle. I'm not sure. Let me go find it. I'm going to get another drink and let me go get my thicker's guide and we'll see what we can do with the title. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I was, uh, took a longer break than I thought. I was chit-chatting with the Mini Kit Monday ladies. <laughs> it is Scrap Chat Sunday for us. I don't know if we're going to end up doing that today or not. I did pull out my thicker's guide and just to see if we like oh no don't mess that up just to see if we like um we by we I mean me see if I would like this as a rounded title 
water bug because that's what her mommy calls her water bug and Riley's so cute oh my god guys she's the cutest we are having um granny and hold one minute it might be time for some more dayquil um water bug do we like that? Super sorry, guys. Um, the cough is com <coughs> coming back in full effect. I'm so sorry. I just had a coughing fit. Um, it might be time for more day quill. This is awful. I hate being sick. It sucks. I knew I should just finish this earlier when I was um, not coughing do we like that I mean I think that's okay maybe I can put a sticker heart there because I need to use two or more stickers right I mean that's okay right I mean I think it's okay I need to do something about the A um, squashing up those fringe water bug yep 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 that's what I think that's what we're gonna do just like that so I'm gonna use this art glitter glue to put this down I'm sorry guys man Whew. when I take that last break I was talking to the mini kit Monday ladies and I don't know if we're gonna do this Sunday scrap and chat today or not we'll see um, cause you know, we all have lives <laughs> outside of, uh, scrapbooking. I suspect no one's going to want to listen to me sit here and cough because that's annoying. Cause I know when my husband had it before I did and he was just cough, cough. I'm just like, Oh God. I can't even stand to be around someone who's just cough, 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 cough. It's just like annoying. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but I mean, it's it's true. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like doing it myself. The cough that I have is one of those ones that when you cough, it's like all up in your gag reflex. So it makes you want to vomit too. Oh, it's just not my favorite. I'm still plotting the demise of my husband for bringing that crap into the house. Sure am. Not gonna lie. I've been plotting his demise since Thursday. There are so many different ways he's fixing to kick it. For giving me this. He says, I told you to stay away from me. He did not. What he did was say, I need some water. I need another blanket. Will you rub my legs? My legs hurt so bad. Will you rub my legs? I need a blanket. I need some water. That's not telling me to stay away from him. Although I did really try to stay away from him. In fact, I think I started saying this. Well, wait. First of all, I think I said in the beginning that it was Saturday. It is not. It is Sunday. I'm just on drugs. Um... It was Sunday, not Saturday. Anyways, Riley and I are having date, Granny and Riley dates, on Wednesdays. So this Wednesday, because Jim was sick, I went over to their house and just hung out over there for a couple hours after work. Because I didn't want her to get sick. <laughs> so that's fun that we're having date night now. We, we didn't... I feel like we started out doing it and then I feel like maybe we stopped doing it because I don't even know why. Well, Marissa used to work. Hold on one sec. Sorry. Marissa would go to work, but she, now she's not working, so um, I don't have an excuse to keep her once a week. Right? 
So, <coughs> we decided to make a date on Wednesdays. You can tell my meds are super wearing off. It's not fun. So I'm going to hurry up and try and throw this together. This is probably how loaded it's going to be for me. I'm probably going to have to hurry up and just <laughs> try and throw stuff together, right? I mean, I would, in a perfect world, I would like the layouts to be my favorite, but quite honestly, it's not going to happen. Now, I have to use two or more stickers. You know what? I'm going to turn this off and go swig some day quilt and I'll be right back. Okay, I am so super sorry. I went and actually didn't swig any um, day quilt. I just took a pill. Two of them actually. So hopefully it works out. <laughs> and I don't keep hacking all over everything. Um, I still need to use the stickers, but I think I'm going to do those puffy stickers. So we'll see if we can put this acetate down where you can't see the glue because we're going to kind of stick it under the photo a little bit. Acetate is very difficult for me. I don't use it very often. Um, but. I mean, I like it. I just have a difficult time with it. And I think we'll put this here. But this one, we are going to staple it. Right in the center of the bow. Okay. So this one right here, we can do the same thing with the adhesive and kind of stick it under the photo. Stapler is the tiny attacher, so it's not long reach. So, put that. And then we have the enjoy. Do I want to put the enjoy on there or not? On the enjoy, we can um, put the adhesive just behind the letters. And actually it might help some of these stay down a little bit. Think of that. What do you think of that? I don't know if this will work or not, guys. We'll see. It's how you know. You gotta try it. I'm trying to be delicate with this um, adhesive, but it looks like the dots are gonna be looks like they might spread out they're big enough to where they might spread out outside of the um, the, the letters so we'll see Put that right there little water bug now we do need to put down the stickers because like I said, it's for the challenge. So we have three or more photos, stickers. We inked the edge of everything in pink. I don't know if we should use more ink or not. I do want to, I'm gonna use the white. I usually use gold for my staples. I use the Signo pen, but um, the white was most handy. So I'm gonna use white to color the staples with. I'm not, so they're not silver. Okay. I got this piece that's like wonky sticking up in the back. We'll just go ahead and cut that off. All right, so we gotta do stickers. So I have this sticker book. 
I don't, you know what? I think I'm just gonna stick with the Felicity Jane stickers that are like this. What do you think? We can do, we have hearts and we have stars and we have dots. So let me roll my man robe up or push it up so I don't. Heart. The heart. So there's my two stickers. Ha! It's a heart. Should we do dots too? We have these stripy black ones that are pretty cool. Stripy black one. I don't know if I love this right here. I don't know. Hmm. Still don't know. I don't know. I lost that one. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. That's oh, right here. <laughs> Um, I don't know about this side. Maybe I won't do anything right there. Maybe I want to put a water bug. Maybe I want to put one right in front of, right in the middle of bug. Water bug. Ha. Um, I have another one right here. So what do I do with this? Do you think we should do splatters? Like maybe some gold, but I don't want it to soak into that tissue paper. That would suck if it soaks into the tissue paper. But I do like gold. Is this too abrupt right here? I don't think I have anything I can really stick right here to make it not be abrupt. Um, we have an arrow. about that where we have good times I don't know why I decided on this acetate that's funny right because then if I put see this is just really abrupt I don't I'm not in love with the abruptness of it Maybe that's where I should be having one of these circles. Yeah. Nope. Don't like it. Do you think we should add this other piece of acetate right in there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's just do it. It's fine. It'll be fine. Let's just, you know what? I'm not even going to staple it. I'm going to use adhesive. We'll see if this works. You might even see it behind there. Who knows? The best. Because she is. I feel like acetate has something on it. I did I just did like a mom where I licked my finger and rubbed it. Once a mom, always a mom. Yep, yep. You think we should put some gold splatters or some kind of splatters? I don't like the black I have. It's the Heidi Swap color shine of black and it's not my favorite. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Because I need to not be talking anymore. Before I have another coughing fit. Let's see. Super basic. Yeah. Check and check. Um, 
this one's like ripping or something. I'm sorry, I gotta... I don't like how this is laying right there. I gotta... I gotta do something about that one right there. Okay. Um, the ones down at the bottom are very sticky up-ish. Let's go ahead and stick a little bit. A little, a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. To get the unruly ones to not be so unruly. Oh, that didn't sound good. My neighbor just turned off his lawnmower. Did you hear that? And it went boom. <laughs> like his lawnmower just blew up. Hope he's okay. What do you think of that? Let me look. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this had took me so long. I'm trying to be quicker because of load. So, um, we'll see. I'm going to send this photo to... Marissa and see what kind of what she has to say about it if she has any journaling she wants to do all right guys I'm done I'm not gonna do anything else unless you know how I said no black what if we do white splatters let's try that let's try white Sorry, had to find the white. I told you what I did, right? When I cleaned my desk off, I just threw it all in one box. I might not have told you this, I don't know, cause it is kind of, you know, a little bit embarrassing that I'm so lame. But, um, I cleaned my desk off. And by clean my desk off, I'm using that term super loosely. I brought, I got one of those, um, I pulled out one of those fabric bins and I took everything off my desk that I needed to put away and threw it all in that bin and was like, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> That's what I mean by, um, uh, cleaning my desk off. <laughs> Cause you know, load is right upon us. I can't be spending all this time trying to clean up stuff I should have done months ago. But I didn't, I will tell you, I love my desk um, more clear now that it does not have all the stuff on it. I like it much better. Not going to lie. It's much, much better. I am getting splutters on the photos and you know what? That's fine. I don't care. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, guys. It's fine. It's cute. Except for this one right here on her face. That's not cute. Got some on her um, head. Cute, cute, cute. Riley's the cutest. So that splatter stuff, I mean, it didn't do a whole bunch for it. I'll wash this off in a minute. I just used my wipey on it. I'll take it to the bathroom and wash it off. But um, it didn't do a whole lot, but it made me feel better. But I did splatters because I love the splatters. And then I got some on the photo, which I really like that. I super like it when I do that with um, gold color shine. Okay, now let me show it to you for real. What do you think? Is it cute? Of course it's cute because Riley's in the photos. Hello. Alright guys, that's all I'm going to do. I want to thank you so much for joining me. And... Come back next Saturday and we will do another real-time video, hopefully. May is super busy for me, so if I can't do a real-time video next Saturday, I will put up something from the vault or something. I'm hoping to be able to keep up with real-time. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.